El Pantera, kind enough to join us right now. There he is. Hello, Yair. How are you? Good, brother. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Great to talk to you. You're not driving right now, right? I'm, I'm just worried uh, when people are driving and talking. Okay, you've okay. got... Okay, this guy's driving. Hey, 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 but who, I don't know who that is, but he can't text and drive. We've got a future champ on our hands here. Get that phone out of your hands. What's going on over here? Yeah, we're like right here, like in the red light right now. So we're okay, okay, just tell him to keep his eyes on the road, all right? I don't want any problems. <laughs> I'm How are you, Yair? Everything good? Everything good, brother. Everything good. Wait some point. Uh, everything is on point. I'm, I feel happy that this fight is all to happen. This is a huge fight. It's great for you to get back to uh, to Mexico to fight in Mexico. I, I, I'm not trying to be a stickler, but why aren't you the main event? I feel like you should be the main event. Do you agree with me? I don't like. I don't really care about that. You know, um, I like the the fact that I'm fighting in Mexico City. Uh, it just kind of surprised me that uh, they they didn't give me the the main event and still give me five rounds. That's the only thing that I wasn't like. That I was like. I didn't. I didn't know what to think, but who cares? Whatever. Sure. Okay whatever. Do you like that it's five rounds? I like that it's five rounds. You know, uh, it's Mexico City. Fighting here, even one round is super tough. But who cares? You know, I'm always prepare myself in high elevation. So, in this in this occasion, it won't be any any difference for me. And and did you like this idea when they talked to you about fighting Ortega again? Were you happy with this uh, with this idea that they proposed? I mean, I didn't really, I didn't really have much options, you know. So I was like, they offered Brian Ortega, and I said yes, I'm okay with with that. Okay. Obviously, we remember what happened in uh, Long Island with you, with you two. So it kind of ended on a bit of a sour note. So here we can have maybe a a decisive winner. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, many people didn't like didn't like the the result of the last fight, but uh, like. Who cares? You know, we're fighting again, and uh, I guess, I guess now there, there will be no doubt. Right. Um, and so, uh, could I ask? Uh, the last time we saw you, obviously, was in July. Was it your decision to to take a little bit of time off here before returning, or would you have preferred to come back sooner? No, it's okay for me, like to take to take time off, you know, uh, and uh, just enjoy myself, uh, enjoy my family, friends, and just let my body heal. You know, I like I like to do that, and uh, here we are, once again. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not in a rush, you know, for running means. and uh, I think I've been doing the right steps in my career, and uh, now we're facing Brian Ortega soon, so I think we're we're in a good spot. Obviously, uh, we haven't talked since you know uh, since you you last fought before your last fight, and so how do you feel about what happened in July? What what lessons did you learn from that experience against Alex? Uh, probably just listen to my corner a little more. You know, I wasn't I wasn't really listening to my corner, and uh, I did everything. I did everything okay. You know, before the fight, during the fight, I, I started doing some adjustments, and uh, I like to start picking it up uh, slowly. And I think I was doing a pretty good job until you know I got I got that like uh, good good punch, and uh, I think. Uh, he hit me with like with the head once in the, in the third round, and I didn't I didn't really took like much time to come back and fight. You know, my corner was like, okay, take some time. He's like, you're not in a rush, and I didn't listen. I just went back, and after that, like I got like the the right hand, and I was like almost out. You know, I couldn't like really defend myself that well. But I mean, it is what it is. It is the name of the sport, and. Uh, I mean, whatever. <laughs> and you say you hit? You mean like a headbutt? Yeah. Oh wow! That was like a that was a pretty good one. And uh, I just trying to come back like uh, faster. I, I didn't want the fight to like uh, like cool down, you know. And I felt like okay, I can do this. And then I I got like the punch right after that, and I was like okay, I, I felt it. Yeah. And I felt it was a really good punch too, and uh, you know. I, after that punch, I was like almost out, so I couldn't really do much. How how was the aftermath for you? Because uh, this was a, a dream of yours to be champion, to be undisputed champion. How did you deal with the the result in the aftermath, the immediate aftermath? Um, I was sad. I didn't really wanna 
wanted to watch, go back and watch the fight. And I was like, okay, who cares? Like, I already lost the fight, so I'm not going to, you know, whatever, whatever the case is. And uh, I went back and watched the fight. I was like, okay, it wasn't that bad, you know, and uh, I think I can I can get him in the next one. You know, I'm still on the I'm still on like the contention. You know, I'm still on the in the front of the division, and I think I want to have another opportunity to fight for a title again. Uh, were you surprised that he took the fight against Islam, the short notice fight? No, I wasn't surprised about that. You know, I was surprised about him uh, taking another fight after a KO. You know, so so soon. I mean, against Korea. So I just think he did like a little bit of a mistake there. I should, I, I will have waited a little more longer. Okay. So d- does that mean you think he's going to lose on Saturday? No, I think, I don't think he's going to, he's going to lose. I think he's going to win. But I just think if in like all the possibilities, you know, the only reason that I, that I think Tuporia can win is because he, he won't be like a hundred percent, not, not him like uh, mentally. Mm. But maybe physically, like inside of his head, like who knows what happens, you know, whenever after you get like a, a KO. Sure. You never know. You can be like more sensitive or, or all that, you know, and uh, to put a hit card. So. And confidence too. Maybe you're doubting yourself. You're maybe not as aggressive, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, there, there are several factors that it can affect. Uh, that's the only thing that I, uh, that I'm thinking that I can affect Volkanovski. But like, uh, He's really smart. He's really good. He's talented. I think he or is is better. It's a uh, way better fighter than uh, than Tuporia, and I think he. I think he will win. If all things are equal, do you see any type of uh, scenario where Tuporia is better than Alex, where he has an edge against Alex? If if there's no other factors, no. No. Can Can I ask what what is uh, what are your thoughts on Tuporia? I saw you left a comment on his. Uh, on his Instagram, there was something, or like regarding the fight when he got the fight. Uh, and so uh, I'm just curious, like how you feel about him, because uh, it seemed from the comment, maybe you're not a huge fan. I just don't fucking like the guy. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. That's so like, he talks so much shit. And uh, I think it was like a, an easy way for him to go and fight for like the title, you know? Like, now, I'm not only going to say me, but, like, different fighters, like, we have to go and fight, like, true warriors, true fucking lions. And this guy, you know, I, I think it was, like, an easy an easier way for him to go to go and fight for the title. And uh, that's it, you know. Uh, I think the UFC is kind of making it easy for him. He's, like, a, he's mark, he, he does a pretty good job on, like, marketing himself. I think is one of the, the huge, the biggest thing in this sport, like, you know how to market yourself, you'll get the better deals, you'll get the better fights. It's not a secret. Everybody knows that. And I think he's, he's great on doing that. You know, I don't blame him for that. I just don't fucking like the guy. Why do you think, uh, you know, like Arnold Allen, yourself, Brian Ortega, you guys have had to go through some tough people. Even Arnold couldn't get a title shot. Why do you think that he's not, you know, he didn't fight you, he didn't fight uh, Arnold, he didn't fight Brian. Uh, he's coming off a win over Josh Emmett, which is an impressive win, but you know, why, why do you think he didn't have to go through any of you? Why do you think the UFC is putting him in this spot? Because of the marketing, you know, it's just because he's marketable. Um, he talks shit, you know, and uh, that's it. It's basically that, you know, and uh, it's sad, but like people like him gets the better fights because of his mouth, not because of his fights. And I don't fucking like that. If regardless of the result of this fight, I'll, I'll fucking like to fuck him up, to be honest. Wow, okay. Uh, I Did you hear what he said about you and Brian and, and uh, some of the other guys on my show last week? He said that none of you are going to get a title shot when he becomes champion, that you've all had your chance, and he's going to fight Conor McGregor next after he wins in Madrid in a stadium. Uh, fucking delusional. <laughs> he's, living, he, he's, not, he's not even fucking living in the same world as, as us. You know, he's like, you know, the fucking planet. I, I'm pretty sure Volkanovski is gonna is gonna do the uh, like the first the first job, and in fucking him up, and then he's gonna he's gonna have to fucking eat all his words, and then everybody's la- is gonna fucking be laughing at him. I I can assure you that. Did you see he uh, changed his bio on his social media to featherweight champion, and uh, he put his record 15 and 0. He's 14 and 0 now, so he gave himself the win. Have you seen all of that? 
Yeah, I kind of I kind of saw that, but I, I mean, what are we talking about? Like like marketing right now? Look, yeah, we're talking about like, sure, sure. Yes, H- have you ever met him? No. Okay. And no, I saw. I think I saw him in my last flight uh, in Vegas, but he was like just sitting there. Right, right, right. Uh, and and have you felt this way about him in a while, or is it just like the build up to this fight that you feel like he's? I never give a fuck about the guy until he started fucking talking shit about me. What do you say about you that that you heard I that didn't, you didn't like? I didn't, I didn't really put uh, so much attention on him, you know. But is it? This is the name of the sport, you know. You you are, you talk about somebody that's uh, better known than you on the sport, and then you start becoming more known, right? You know, that's what he's doing. Like, let's be honest about about this right now, because this is not a secret, you know. So he will talk shit about whomever he like. He's mentioning Canelo, he's mentioning McGregor. Why do, why do you think he's doing that? Because he's marketing. Mm-hmm. He will never get to face somebody like McGregor. He will never get to face, face somebody like like Canelo. You know, of course not. Uh, compared to like obviously yourself, but Ortega, Arnold, like the t- uh, Josh, um, I know he had that. Imp- you don't you don't rate him in that in that category in the top five? No. Oh, yeah, and you'll see, you'll see, like um, you'll see that. I won't, I won't have to do nothing. <laughs> I don't. I don't have to say nothing. Like he, like he's. I don't. I don't know how to say. It. Like his career will be over after this fight against Volkanovski. Wow. He's been talking so much shit so many things and people is gonna fucking be laughing at him after this are you are you rooting for Alex because I could see a scenario you beat Brian he wins and it's you versus him for the belt I mean I'm I'm like neutral you know I'm neutral I don't like whomever wins wins whatever but I don't I don't really see Tuporia winning okay that's the, my honest opinion uh, win or like let's say all goes well for you next week he he loses. Would you still like to fight? Is that your dream scenario? You get to fight him next, even though he'd be coming off a loss. Um, no, if I w- if I win my fight against Brian Ortega, which I'm planning on doing, and Alexander Volkanovski wins, I would I would like to face Volkanovski. Okay, of course, right? Because why would I face him? Like he has nothing to offer. But in any way, I would like to face him at some point. I would like to fuck him up. Especially like if, they, if, if uh, something goes like uh, UFC plans and go to Spain, fuck man, I will fucking love to fucking fight in Spain. Why? Because it's his house. I would love to fucking beat him in his fucking house. <laughs> I love this from you. Yeah, you're, uh, what, have you felt this way in a while about anyone? I, I don't usually hear you speak like this about other fighters. No, because I respect everybody, but this guy. He's pissed you off. A fucking bitch. Has he said something that really irked you? That really annoyed you? I don't need to. I don't fucking like the guy. You just don't like him. <laughs> I think. Wow. How do you think Alex wins? I think Alex will get him in the second round. Probably TKO. TKO. Wow. And uh, obviously, you're in Mexico now, so you won't be there, and, and you're preparing for for your fight. When you think about your fight with Brian, how do you foresee it playing out? Yeah, I think I don't know if Brian has been preparing himself in like uh, high elevation, but I think he's gonna try and come quick on me by like trying to take my back, take me down. He's gonna try to do something desperate like that, I, and I think that's gonna lead uh, me to win the fight because of him getting desperate. You know, he's gonna feel like the elevation. He's gonna feel the pressure of the public. He's gonna feel my pressure because I'm 100% not getting tired in that fight, and I think I'm gonna get him in the second round. Have you been? Do you do you live full time in Mexico now? Meaning, like, are you fully acclimated to the elevation, or did you come before this fight? Uh, no, I've been in uh, in here, a little higher in Mexico City, like one thousand feet, like higher than Mexico City, in this little town, so I can get like a better rest, better preparation, acclimatization. And I've been here for almost two months now. Oh wow! Okay, okay I'll say like I almost almost like seven weeks. And what's the buzz like? Because it's been so long that the UFC, uh, you know, hasn't been to Mexico City. What is the uh, the buzz like in town? People is just going crazy here for tickets. But everybody wants to go. Everybody's like asking, "How oh, how can I still get tickets?" And I think they could sell out in like an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? so it's uh, it's something crazy that uh, I don't know. I don't know how many tickets the U- the UFC is selling. I don't know if uh, they're gonna open like the the full arena. I think the, the arena has a capacity of twenty-two to twenty-four thousand people. I don't know if they're doing it, like all of it. 
Wow. You know? I but, wa- uh, yeah. Sorry, I, I just was going to say, I want to see you fight on that uh, Noche UFC card. I feel like you need to be on that. It was a shame, you know, the timing didn't work out because you had fought in July, but they're doing it at the Sphere this year. I feel like if maybe you get one here and then one, I don't know, if in the summer. What do you think? Is this something that you care about or you don't really care about? It, like, you know, it, it's, it's something that I really care about. Like, of course, I would like to fight in there. It's just that I'm, uh, you know, you never know in this sport. You know, even even if you don't get, like, um, a lose in a fight, you can maybe get hurt because you're, like, literally punching nobody else. You know, and if I'm healthy, of course, I would like to fight. When you watched it, did you feel like, oh, I'd love to have been a part of this, or did you not really care? Mm, yeah, I would, love, I would love to be a part of that. Like, uh, like big events like that, you know, they only come once for the first time, and uh, I would love to be part of it. Okay. Um, all right, well, I don't want to take up more of your time, Yair. It's great to talk to you. I'm very happy that you're coming back, that you're getting the big fight back home in uh, in Mexico City. It's going to be quite the scene. I would say it's it's the people's main event. You know what that means? Like it's the main event for La Raza. You understand what I'm talking about, La Raza? When I say that, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. I think I mean, I think uh, Brandon Moreno deserves it. For, like um, I have fighting in cars where like I'm I was the main event, and Brandon is like uh, like the co main or something like that. I just think he deserves it. You know, he he's been doing a great job. He's always working really hard. He's somebody that I really respect so much. I love him, and I, I, I'm rooting for everybody on the card, you know. And uh, I'm really happy that it's happening in Mexico. And for all the people, you know, this will be a great event. I love it. I love it. Well, good luck to you. Thank you for coming on. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it very much. And uh, I wish you all the best on February 24th. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. All right. Good there he is. You. Yes, the great Yair Rodriguez. Always a pleasure uh, to talk to him, El Pantera. And that's a nice little card. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.